Did you know that Intel is coming back in Black Ops 6 Zombies? Treyarch confirmed that the other day in a tweet after the Liberty Force showcase. And I can't be more happy about this, since I was a huge fan of collecting Intel in Cold War Zombies. Collectible Intel added progression, replayability and a good way for keeping up with the story. In my opinion, it was way better to inspect radios and audio logs in the game's menu instead of in-game, since in-game Intel requires you to turn off all other sound effects and a second teammate that would train the last zombie for you to be able to listen to it. And I know lots of players would agree with me, since Intel Guides became one of the biggest videos on this channel during Cold War Zombies. But the Intel system did not come with only positive stuff. Many players were frustrated with the sheer amount of Intel. There was over 500 pieces of Intel to be found and the worst Intel was the one hidden on Outbreak maps, since those regions were really big. It became even more frustrating when Treyarch decided to hide new Intel on old Outbreak maps too, practically making Intel hunters search every corner of each map with each update. Crazy times. And so today I thought, hey, Let's take a look at the best hidden Intel locations on Outbreak maps, because why not? So let's get started. On the map Ruka, you can find the armory dummy's head on a mast. If you are standing on this bridge right here, you can spot the head in the distance. It's a bit tricky to get, since you need to jump from the bridge to the mast and quickly grab it when you are next to it. Moving on to the map Duga, you may have noticed the big array radar outside, right? You can't really miss that. But did you know about its two underground bunkers? They are somewhat hidden and never utilized for outbreak objectives or quests, making them rather forgettable since there's not much going on in them. However, in one of the two bunkers, you can actually find a hidden audio log. Right here in this transmission room, you can spot the audio log in this dark corner. Let's stay in Duga and actually take a look at this gigantic radio transmission structure. A question for you guys, would you hide a piece of intel somewhere on this thing? Well, if you answered with yes, then good job, you might want to start working for Treyarch because that is exactly what they did. Every layer or floor of this structure looks the exact same, but if you happen to stumble across the right corner of this thing, you are able to come across the broken essence capsule. Who else always wanted to have one of those, right? On the map Golova, you have this huge landmark, the church. It looks really beautiful. And since Treyarch likes to hide stuff on top of buildings, we have to use a jump pad and take a closer look at the roof. After making our way to the northwest pillar of the church, we can spot a monkey bomb collectible just chilling there. I think this was a really nice spot for hiding an artifact, to be honest. But what are your thoughts about it? On the map Sanatorium, we face one big problem. It's way too fucking dark. I always hated that. But imagine hiding a piece of intel in this dark map, under the bridge and basically at the very edge of the map too, because that is exactly what Treyarch did here. As you can see, we are at the edge of the map, under the bridge, and yeah, there is the hidden audio lock right there. One more step to the east of the intel spot and we take barrier damage since we are so close to the edge of the map. Nice job to whoever came up with that interlocation spot at Treyarch. Good on you. On the map Zoo, we can follow the train tracks. Now, the bad news are that there is unfortunately no train on the map. That would have been a cool interactive gimmick to be honest. But the good news are that we at least won't get run over while walking on the tracks here. At the southwest part of the map, we can spot a ether reactor model sitting between the rail seat. Who put it there is all I'm wondering though. Let's actually stay on the map zoo and take a look at one of the wooden houses in the northeast of the map. If we make our way inside and use the bathroom on the first floor, we might be pleasantly surprised, since we can see a recon rover model across from us. Nice. Living according to my plan, you set me free. Raise your hands, who else has a phobia of really deep water and the ocean? Well, on the map Armada, Treyarch went out of the way to make those poor people suffer and to face their anxiety by hiding into deep down underwater. So take a deep breath and dive underwater next to the turned over ship. 
all of that for a toxic growth canister. Wow. On the map Collateral, we have a really cheeky hidden audio log that you can find. But it's so well hidden that you need to think outside the box this time. On the Packer Punch Tower, you can spot the audio log if you have a sniper. You have to shoot it once and then it will fall down next to you. It was always rather uncommon to shoot Intel, but this was one of the exceptions. Back on the map Goloba, we have another insanely hidden Intel, at least in my opinion. See, you are able to collect Samantha's watch and that thing is really tiny. And one rogue developer at Treyarch fought on a sunny afternoon in April of 2021 to be pure evil and to hide that watch in between some rooftop cracks. I was almost ready to give up, I even put down my controller to take a short break after searching for hours. What I didn't know was that I was already standing only a few meters away from the final piece of intel. When I came back, I wanted to go on this rooftop tower and jump off the building to glide to the next area or something. But for a microsecond, for one frame, I got a weird pop-up on my screen and I checked. It was right there. Here, take a look at my original screen recording of my PS5 gameplay from back then. As you can see, I was not lying. That pop-up was there for only a really short amount of time. And yeah, till this day I consider this pure luck to be able to find it. And for the final, really well hidden piece of intel that I want to showcase, I thought it would be fitting to go with one of the very final pieces of intel in all of Cold War Zombies. Back then, when Forsaken dropped and Vanguard was around the corner, they added one of the biggest teasers to Outbreak. On Rooker, again, somewhere far outside or at the very edge of the map, on a cut-off tree, you can spot an ancient goblet. Which we later found out to be perk goblets from Vanguard Zombies. Back then, it was exciting and to discover this was huge. But yeah, we all know how Vanguard Zombies turned out after this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe I even made you walk down memory lane with me. Or oh, hey, maybe you never heard about this amazing intel system before and now have the itch to go and to hunt them all. Whatever it is, I think this video will go down as one of the best videos I ever made. Or the worst, there's no in between. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, you will get intel guides back when Black Ops 6 launches, of course, don't worry about it. Until then, you can have this video. Um, but yeah, let me know if I should do a part two of this or not. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.